Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we are going to discuss scarlet fever. What are the key signs and symptoms to look out for? What are its complications, including eye gas? What is the right treatment, including options when there is an antibiotic shortage? Coming right up. Scarlet fever is a common childhood infection caused by Streptococcus pyogenes or Group A strep, also known as gas. These bacteria can live on the skin and throat without causing problems and we think this occurs up to 26% of healthy children. Occasionally, Group A strep can cause non-invasive infections such as Otitis media, impetite, go, sinusitis, and pharyngitis. Rarely, they can cause more severe infections, including toxic shock syndrome, septicemia, and necrotizing fasciitis. In the UK, there are around 4,000 reported cases per year, commonly affecting children between the age of 2 to 8 with outbreaks occurring every year. An outbreak is defined as two reported cases of scarlet fever um, over the space of 10 days in school or nursery. The highest incidence is between December to May, peaking around March. It is less common in adults and there is usually no risk in pregnant women coming to contact with scarlet fever. Over the past five years, there is an increased reporting of scarlet fever leading up to the COVID pandemic, with emergence of a dominant, more toxigenic Group A strap. Scarlet fever is highly contagious and is transmitted by droplets um, via aerosol transmission or by direct contact of contaminated surfaces. Scarlet fever is a notifiable disease which can be submitted to the Health Protection Agency based on clinical symptoms fitting with the diagnosis. Once a person has scarlet fever, a recurrence of the disease is unlikely. Be alert of scarlet fever in patients who are at increased risk of developing invasive Group A streptococcus or eye gas, which can be life-threatening. These are children with comorbidities, immunocompromised, or with chickenpox. Look out for pneumonia, septicemia, meningitis, and necrotizing fasciitis. The mortality rate of invasive group A streptococcus can be as high as 25%, Bearing in mind that the risk is much higher in older age group, with the average age of around 55 years of age. The symptoms of scarlet fever may include fever, sore throat, headache, nausea and vomiting. Within 24 to 48 hours, a characteristic blanching pinkish red pinhead generalized rash develops starting usually from the chest and abdomen before rapidly spreading all over the body, giving a sandpaper-like um, texture, usually sparing the palms and the sole. Accentuation in the skin folds can be seen in the area of the neck, the groin, axilla and the knee, giving a deep red line called pastias line. The rash can be a bit harder to spot in dark skin patients, but the sandpaper texture should still be there. They typically have flushed cheek with pallor around the mouth, accompanied by strawberry tongue. Initially, the tongue is covered by a white coat in which red papillae may be seen. After a few days, the peeling happen and the white coat disappear, 
leaving a typical beefy red appearance. Peeling of the skin may occur after the rash resolve, which can be seen on the tip of the fingers and the toes. Pharyngitis and small red spots can be seen in the soft and hard palate, and this is called a Forkheimer spot. Scarlet fever is usually mild and clears up after one week. Hospital admission um, can be seen in patients with um, throat abscess or quincy, cellulitis, meningitis and pneumonia. Rare later stage complication may include rheumatic fever and glomerulonephritis. A prompt treatment of antibiotic would reduce risk of complication. Patients should be excluded from nursery, school or work at least 24 hours after the start of the antibiotics. Consider throat swab to confirm etiology. Bear in mind that negative swab does not exclude scarlet fever. In school and nursery setting, prophylactic chemoprophylaxis is not usually recommended to contacts of non-invasive group A streptococcus. It can be considered in exceptional circumstances when there are um, severe outbreaks or hospitalization which will be directed by the national team. Evidence suggests that chickenpox is the most common risk factor for invasive group A streptococcus. If chickenpox is called circulating with scarlet fever in the nursery or preschool setting, national team could consider post-exposure prophylaxis with chickenpox vaccine in an outbreak setting on a case-to-case -case basis. Hand washing is the most important step in controlling the spread of scarlet fever. The first line treatment for scarlet fever is penicillin V given 6 hourly for 10 days. For children who are unable to swallow or there is a concern around compliance, amoxicillin can be given twice a day as an alternative. For patients with penicillin allergy, a cithromycin given once a day for five days is a good alternative. During an antibiotic shortage, chromoxiclav and kefalexin are good alternative, and then there are erythromycin and clostromycin um, for those patients with penicillin allergy. Thank you for watching this video and why don't you check out another video I made on HRT which I made earlier. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my GP Team Academy channel and until next time.